Would our candidates for clerk of superior court please come? Same as before, you'll be allotted 30 seconds and an opening statement, one minute to answer each question, and then a 30 second closing. Uh, come in alphabetical order to start with. Hello, my name is Erica Carver, and I'm running for clerk of Superior Court. I was born right here at Coffee Regional, and I grew up in uh, Tushton Woods and attended uh, CCA for six years. and. Uh, and I hate public speaking. <laughs> Socially, great. Public speaking, not so great. But um, a, a few people have asked who my folks are. And uh, my parents are uh, Joyce and Alton Carver. They were in the uh, mobile home industry. And my grandparents are uh, Hoyt Hope, Eunice Day, Ira, Ira Carver, and Myrtle Hester. Thank you so much. Good evening. I'd like to thank the Chamber and Farm Bureau for putting this on. I'm Angela Spell-Hutto. I'm the Clerk of Superior Court. I have been the Clerk of Superior Court for the past 12 years. I'm the daughter of Dwight and Lola Spell. I have one daughter, Sanja and Alex Horton, and I have four beautiful grandchildren, Carly Mason, Paisley, and Peyton. God has blessed me with a wonderful family, friends, and a great county to live in. I have lived in Coffee County my whole life. I was raised in Pridge in Georgia, and I would like for you, uh, my parents raised me as a Christian family, and I still have those values of hard work and integrity. First question, what are the factors that motivated you to seek the opportunity to serve? I started working for Miss Willifred Thompson in 1986. When I started, I was just really looking for a job. I didn't think that was what I wanted to do because that is not what I went to college to do. But the more I done it, I really love my job. I love serving the people of Coffee County. I have learned a lot goes on to make this, to make the court, clerk of court's office work. It takes a lot of time, effort, and very good employees. Um, Ms. Thompson trusted me to be deputy clerk in 1987. I continued to be deputy clerk until I um, run as clerk in 2005. I have been there altogether 30 years at the end of this year. I worked for her for 18 years. And then after I worked for her, she retired and I run for my office. I love my job. I love helping people. My door is always open. And anytime anybody has anything to ask, they can call me at home or wherever. Thank you. Okay, why do I want to run for clerk of Superior Court? Actually, the initial idea came from my mom. And as you may know, uh, she had a massive stroke, a paralyzing stroke, uh, five years ago. And I've been her caregiver for the past five years. And uh, she worries that I've placed my life on hold for too long on the sake, for the sake of family. And we explored and discussed the position and the responsibilities that would be needed and my background and my education. And we discovered that I would be a really great clerk of Superior Court and that it would be a really good fit and I could help a lot of people in my home county. Thank you. Second question, what are your priorities to, to improve the office of clerk of Superior Court? Okay, firstly, I would like to bring it back to being a, a customer service, citizen-centered. I would like to uh, apply a modified SWOT analysis. It's a business term, which means strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Uh, that's to assess the office and um, 
what that would do is allow you to be proactive rather than reactive. I would uh, take all of the accounts that would be administered and place those into interest-bearing accounts and earn money for the people of Coffee County. And I would have an open door policy, approachable and as courteous as I possibly could be. Thank you. Well, the first thing is I am trying to become more automated. The United States is going to be more automated. The clerk of courts and all offices are becoming more automated. The accounts of the county that I hold are already on interest-bearing accounts and have always been that way. Second, I would like to hire a receptionist so that when you come into the office that you see them. They kind of answer the phone. They lead people and tell people exactly where they need to go. Third, we have a storage issue. It's something the county knows. There's just a lot, there's just more to it than saying we're gonna do this and that. You have certain qualifications you have to do to do that. And fourth, I'm trying to get all the old deeds and flats that are the records of our county scanned into a system that if something happened to our courthouse, that they would be scanned into a place that you could get them and retrieve them because our county was done in 1854 and there are a lot of old records in this county, and that is your history of this county. And the third and final question. In your opinion, what is the most important asset to possess for the particular office you are seeking? Education, experience, or the gift of logical thinking? most important thing to possess is experience. If I had never worked in the clerk's office, believe me, that would not have been the job I'd went to go for. Because in that job, I am in charge of and run. I do all of deed, land deeds, liens, UCCs, army discharge papers, trade names, superior criminal, civil, state court criminal, civil, juvenile, child support, board of visualization, jury, adoption, and notaries. And anything else nobody in the county wants to do most of the time. <laughs> I also answer to four superior court judges, one state court judge, one juvenile court judge, and I also am in charge of getting all the notices out to these defendants, talking to people as they come in on a daily basis, maybe not knowing what they want, but you have to ask enough questions to know, to figure out what they want. And I think experience is important because you got to know something to make this office work. It's not one you just go in there and say that I've already, I'm just gonna do it this way because that's not the way it works. You have laws to go by. For me, um, I look at it from the perspective that I can acquire experience. Um, education is the very foundation of how I think. Um, my problem solving skills um, critical analysis, all of these things needed in, a, in an office. Of, you're essentially an administrator, and all of these things are sorely needed. And uh, I just blanked. <laughs> but um, I do apologize. But um, as I said, oh, the, the education. I have degrees in um, political science, history, Spanish, general business, and a master's of business administration. I'm extremely well-rounded. I learn very, very quickly. And uh, you can't go anywhere without an education. You're always learning, and it instills a thirst for knowledge. Thank you. Now for your closing remarks. My name is Angela Spell Hutto. I'm the Clerk of Superior Court. I have been the Clerk of Superior Court for the past 11 and a half years. I would like to continue to be the Clerk of Superior Court. I would like to continue to be server, a service to this community and a servant because it's been a humbling and a well rewarding experience. I just would appreciate your vote on May the 24th. Thank you.
little bit. Um, in closing, I'd like to say that I have the, uh, the intellect, uh, the professionalism, and the people skills that would make a highly effective and efficient uh, clerk of court. And it would be an honor to represent the citizens of Coffee County and represent the, the county to the highest degree. And I would certainly appreciate your vote. Um, this is coming early, well, May 24th is the final day. And, uh, okay, and it's time. <laughs> but I thank you so very much. And please find me on Facebook if you'd like to speak a little more uh, in depth but in not a public speaking setting. Thank you so much.